you know, for a lot of people, the dream of real energy independence, it feels like it's moving closer, doesn't it? From just an idea to something uh, tangible. Yeah, definitely. We're seeing a huge surge in interest in DIY solar. Right. And it seems driven by all sorts of things, rising bills, wanting more resilience, especially with, you know, unpredictable weather patterns. Exactly. And people are asking, what if my home could power itself? Maybe even, you know, give power back. So today we're doing a deep dive into two specific pieces of kit that aim to make that happen. The EG4 Flexboss 21 Hybrid Inverter and the EG4 Grid Boss Energy Management System. Yeah, our goal here is really to cut through the jargon, unpack what these systems actually do, how they mesh together, and maybe help you figure out if they fit your energy goals. Think of it as a shortcut, maybe, to getting informed about the, uh, the brains and brawn behind a really advanced home solar setup. Exactly. Brains and brawn, I like that. Okay, let's unpack this. We'll start with the Braun, the EG4 Flex Boss 21. It's called a hybrid inverter. What does that actually mean, hybrid? And why is that important for someone planning long term? Okay, so traditionally you had inverters that were basically one thing or the other, either grid tied, so always connected, maybe selling power back, uh -huh. or completely off grid, totally separate. The Flex Boss 21, well, it kind of breaks that mold. It can switch between grid-tied and off-grid modes pretty seamlessly. <sighs> and crucially, it supports net energy metering, where that's allowed, of course, letting you sell that excess solar power back. So it gives you options. It's all about versatility. Yeah. It's less about one specific feature and more about um, future-proofing your setup. Yeah. You can adapt if your needs change or if utility rules change without needing a whole new system. Adaptability, okay. But we're also talking serious juice here. 21 kilowatts of usable solar power what does 21 kilowatt feel like for a homeowner? Does it change how you use electricity day to day? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 21 kilowatts isn't just a spec sheet number. It fundamentally changes how you think about your energy use. How so? Well, we're talking the ability to run most of your household appliances at the same time. Nothing. Even the really power hungry ones, like a central AC or an electric oven. Wow. So you move from maybe, you know, carefully managing power during peak times to, well, a real sense of unrestricted use. It means you can seriously think about electrifying everything, EV charger, heat pump, without constantly worrying if the system can keep up. That's a big shift, psychologically too, I imagine. It really is a practical shift and yeah, psychological. Okay, that's the energy freedom part. But let's talk reliability. What happens when the grid goes down? Can this kind of power really keep things running smoothly when the lights go out next door? Right, and this is where its resilience really comes into play. The Flex Boss 21 it has this impressive 13.5 kVA surge capacity. kVA? What does that translate to? kVA, kilovolt amperes. It's key for handling those brief, really high power demands from things like big motors starting up. Think about your air conditioner kicking on that initial surge. Uh-huh, the big draw. Exactly. So, in practical terms, this means the Flexboss 21 can reliably start and run those energy-heavy appliances, like a 5-ton AC unit, using just battery power. It avoids the kind of brownout effect you might get with other systems struggling with that initial load. Hold on. So, even if the whole neighborhood's dark, this system could potentially kickstart my air conditioner just from the batteries. Theoretically, yes. That's the capability it's built for. That's that's a serious level of comfort and security. Is that kind of energy insurance policy becoming more of a priority for people? Increasingly, yeah. We rely so much on electricity, yeah. right? And with, well, everything from extreme weather to grid stability concerns, having that robust backup is becoming invaluable. It's less about just having backup, more about maintaining normalcy. Exactly. Mitigating the impact on your life, your comfort. Maintaining normalcy when things outside aren't normal. Makes sense. Okay, so power resilience. What about efficiency? You mentioned beefier MPPT ratings in the specs. For someone who gets the basics of MPPT, what's the real advantage here? Right, so most people know MPPT, maximum power point tracking, is how the inverter gets the most power out of your panels. Oh, huh, squeezing out every drop. Yeah. The beefier ratings on the Flexboss 21 are a key difference. They let it handle higher input currents and voltages. Okay, and that means? That translates to more flexibility in how you set up your solar panels, especially if you have a larger array or if you have panels facing different directions or dealing with partial shading, you know. Ah, real-world conditions. Exactly. 
It ensures you're capturing the maximum possible energy, even if your roof isn't the perfect ideal solar setup or some panels get blocked by shade sometimes. It's about getting every watt you possibly can, whatever the conditions. So it's designed to work really well, even if things aren't perfect, like some shade from a tree or a tricky roof layout. Precisely. It accounts for those real challenges homeowners actually face. Yeah. All right, the Flex Boss 21 sounds like the muscle, the brawn, for sure. Now let's switch gears to its partner, the EG4 Grid Boss. You called it the central command center. How does it become the brains of the whole operation, going beyond just connecting things? Yeah, central command is a good way to put it. The Grid Boss isn't just plugging things together, it's about intelligent orchestration. It actively manages the power flow between the grid, your inverter, like the FlexBoss 21, any generator you might have connected, mm -hmm. and even smart appliances in your home. It's not just about coordination. It's like a dynamic energy broker for your house. An energy broker? How so? Well, it's designed to actively navigate complex stuff, like changing utility rates or figuring out when power is available or expensive. It helps your home become an active player in the energy game, not just passively taking power. That sounds pretty smart. And it has those four smart ports you mentioned. How does that fine-grained control help me day-to-day? -day? Those ports let you really fine-tune power usage. So let's say there's an outage. You can set it up to make sure essential circuits like your fridge, some lights, maybe medical equipment, always get power first. Right. Prioritize. Exactly. While maybe temporarily powering down less critical things like maybe a pool pump or a workshop circuit until there's more power available from the batteries or solar, it ensures your vital needs are met first letting you set the priorities. Okay, I can see that being really useful. Now, one of the big headaches and costs for solar and storage is often upgrading the main electrical panel. Does the Grid Boss help with that? Ah, uh, yes. This is a huge potential cost saver. The Grid Boss is specifically engineered to often eliminate the need for those expensive main panel upgrades. Really? How? Or even needing separate subpanels for your critical loads. All that smart management, the switching, it happens inside the Grid Boss unit itself. That could potentially save you you know, thousands of dollars and really simplify the whole installation. Wow. Okay. That's a major plus. Removing a big financial barrier. And for the tech folks listening, you mentioned specs like a 200A rating and 22 KAIC interrupting capacity. What do those tell us about how robust it is? Good question. So the 200A rating for both backup and non-backup loads means it's built to handle the power demands of pretty much any modern home. It's designed to actually be your home's main service entrance. So it re replaces the main breaker panel, essentially. It can function as that central point, yeah. It becomes the brain for all the electricity in your house. And the 22K IC interrupting capacity, that's about safety. It means it can safely stop a very high short circuit current, protecting your whole system. These aren't entry-level specs. They signal it's built for serious whole home energy management. Got it. Robust and capable. Okay, so we have this powerhouse inverter, the Flex Boss 21, and this smart manager, the Grid Boss. Yeah. What happens when you put them together? What kind of solution does that synergy create? Right. When you combine them, you really move beyond just basic backup power into true whole home resilience. Yeah. Meaning, it's not just about keeping a few lights on. This combo can potentially power your entire home during an outage. We're talking the big stuff, AC, electric stove, your computers, entertainment systems. It provides a level of continuous comfort and, frankly, peace of mind during grid outages that most standard backup systems just can't deliver. Okay, so handling outages is one thing, but I bet this duo can also save money during normal operation, especially with things like net metering or those time-of-use electricity rates. How does the grid boss handle those? Absolutely. Let's talk time-of-use first. You know how some utilities charge way more for power during peak hours, like late afternoon, and less overnight? Yeah, peak demand pricing. Right. The Grid Boss understands these rate schedules. It can be programmed to intelligently charge your batteries when electricity is cheap, say, overnight from the grid, or during the day from solar. Then, during those expensive peak hours, it automatically switches to using that stored battery energy to power your home. Ah, so it automatically buys low and avoids buying high. Essentially, yes. It automates sourcing your energy from the cheapest place at any given time, solar, battery, or grid. It's like having a little energy accountant working for you 24-7. That's clever. Like a personal energy assistant optimizing without you thinking about it. That's a great way to put it. And then for net energy metering, selling your extra solar power back, the grid boss 
manages that flow meticulously. How so? It monitors your solar production, what your house is using, and the grid connection, making sure you maximize those credits you get for sending power back. It helps turn your home into like a mini power plant that feeds the grid when it's most advantageous for you. Takes the guesswork out of maximizing the financial side of solar then. What about growth? Say my energy needs increase later, I get an EV maybe, or what if I already have some solar panels? How flexible is this system? It's designed to be very scalable. The grid boss can handle multiple inverters working together in parallel. So if your needs grow, you add that EV, or maybe electrify your heating, you can just add another Flex Boss 21 or another compatible inverter. The grid boss integrates it and manages the whole team, making sure power is distributed effectively. Like adding more horses to the team, but they all pull together smoothly. Exactly. A team of energy workhorses, all coordinated by the grid boss, so you don't have to scrap your initial investment if you need more power down the line. And you mentioned integrating existing systems that AC coupling feature. What does that mean for someone who maybe put solar up a few years ago with older tech? Yeah, AC coupling is a big plus. It means the grid boss can integrate with solar systems that are already installed, even if they use older types of inverters, like string inverters. So I don't have to rip out my existing panels. Exactly. You don't have to tear out a perfectly good system to get this advanced energy management. You can build on what you already have. It makes upgrading much more cost effective, leveraging your previous investment. That's huge. Avoids that feeling of being stuck with outdated tech. Mm. I also heard the grid boss can bring a generator into the mix. Why would I want a generator if I have solar and batteries already? It's really about that ultimate layer of security, that extra peace of mind for potentially really long outages. Like days long. Yeah. While solar and batteries are fantastic, you can imagine a scenario maybe days of terrible weather, no sun, and a prolonged grid failure where even a big battery bank might eventually run low. Okay, I see. In that kind of worst case scenario, a generator provides that final backup. The grid boss manages it too, automatically starting and stopping the generator when needed to keep power flowing or recharge batteries, all without you having to do anything manually. It's like an insurance policy on your insurance policy. So the grid boss is the master conductor, juggling solar, batteries, the grid, maybe even a generator, making sure the power stays on no matter what. Precisely. Intelligent, automated energy flow from every possible source. This has been incredibly detailed on the tech side. Let's zoom out for a minute. What are the bigger trends pushing this whole home energy solution movement forward? How do systems like these fit into that larger picture? Well, we're definitely seeing a big shift in how people think about energy. Mm -hmm. It's driven by a mix of things, really. Like what? Uh, the increasing frequency of extreme weather events is a big one. Rising energy costs, obviously. Mm -hmm. And just growing concerns about how reliable our grid infrastructure actually is. Right, yeah. It's moving beyond just wanting to save a few bucks. Mm -hmm. It's becoming more about empowerment, you know, mm -hmm. taking control of your energy future, building real resilience right at home, moving from just being a passive consumer to actively shaping your energy situation. Taking control, yeah. And the environmental side. How do optimized systems like this help with broader climate goals beyond just using solar? The environmental benefits are significant. Obviously, using solar reduces fossil fuel dependence. Mm. But what systems like the Flex Boss and Grid Boss do is they amplify the effectiveness of that clean energy by optimizing how you store and use it, maximizing what you consume yourself, managing grid interaction intelligently. They make sure every clean watt generated is used as efficiently as possible. So it's not just making green energy, it's using it smarter, maximizing the impact. Exactly maximizing your carbon footprint reduction by minimizing waste and optimizing usage, making every clean electron count. That makes sense. It also raises a really interesting point about the grid itself. If more homes become producers with smart systems like this, how might that change the whole electrical grid operates? That's a huge and fascinating question. As more homes adopt sophisticated solar and battery setups, we could see a real shift towards a more um, decentralized grid. Decentralized. Yeah, instead of power mostly flowing one way from big power plants out to everyone, right. you'll see power flowing in many directions. Yeah. Homes generating, storing, using, selling back. It's like turning the traditional grid from a one-way street into a dynamic, multi-directional highway. A two-way street for energy. Exactly. This potentially creates a more robust, more resilient energy network overall, less vulnerable if one part fails. That could have really profound impacts down the road. Looking even further ahead, 
What emerging tech do you see building on what systems like the Grid Boss do today? What's next for home energy management? Well, battery technology is advancing incredibly fast. They're getting more efficient, lasting longer, and crucially, more affordable. That makes home storage feasible for way more people. It's like getting closer to having a personal silent power plant at home. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, AI and machine learning are playing a bigger and bigger role. We can expect systems to get even smarter. Smarter how? Like anticipating your energy needs based on past behavior, predicting whether to optimize solar charging, learning your habits, automating decisions with even more precision. So moving beyond just an energy assistant to more like an energy strategist mm -hmm. working behind the scenes. Precisely. Constantly adapting for peak performance and savings. And then there's the Internet of Things, IoT. As more devices get connected, you'll see tighter integration between your energy system and, well, everything else in your smart home. A truly connected energy ecosystem. It's a pretty exciting time for home energy, it seems like. Definitely. Lots of innovation happening. Okay, so as we start to wrap up this deep dive, let's quickly hit the key takeaways for the EG4 FlexBoss 21 and GridBoss combination. We've seen it's powerful, it's versatile, really flexible energy management. Yeah, providing that true whole home backup, potentially saving significant money by avoiding those main panel upgrades. And we talked about its scalability, how it can grow with you, and that AC coupling feature, letting it integrate with existing solar systems you might already have. It really feels like a system designed not just for today, but with an eye towards where home energy is heading tomorrow. Absolutely. But it's important to reiterate, right? While DIY solar is incredibly rewarding, it demands respect. Electricity is serious business. Absolutely. Do your homework. Do your research. Talk to qualified professionals if you're unsure about anything. Follow all the safety guidelines and local codes. Preparation is key. It's a powerful journey, but needs careful steps. So this look at the FlexBoss 21 and GridBoss, it shows what's possible now. As you think about your own energy situation, maybe ponder this. What does energy independence really mean for you? Mm. Is it just about the money? Or is it about something deeper, security, control, maybe environmental responsibility for your home, your family? Yeah, it's more than just the hardware, isn't it? It's about empowering your life in a different way, building resilience, making a sustainable choice. And maybe joining a growing community of people who are choosing to manage their energy and their lives a bit differently, building a more sustainable future, perhaps. Well, thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the EG4 Flex Boss 21 and Grid Boss. It's been great exploring this. We really hope you found it informative, maybe even a bit inspiring. Until next time, keep learning, keep asking questions, and keep exploring what's possible in the world of home energy.